Oh, you go read about, you go online and read about the powers of the Human Rights Tribunal and then see how safe you feel. So here's one of the things they can do. This is section 1.6. It's in a document about powers of the powers of the tribunals. They call them social justice tribunals in Ontario. They actually call them social justice tribunals. It's mind-boggling. They can suspend precedent, legal, normal legal precedent, and jurisprudential tradition in the pursuit of their aims. That's one of the, it's actually documented as one of their powers. Think about that. Like, we live in a society that's essentially bound by the restrictions of English common law. And English common law is one of the most remarkable what, developments of civilization ever, period. Because what, see, in the English system, basically, the presupposition is that you have all the rights there are. They're not enumerated. You just have all of them, except when one of those rights imposes a restriction on someone else, and then they get irritated at you and take you to court. And then the judge sorts out who's, who has which micro right, and then that's laid out as precedent. And so English common law is this tremendous body of evolved doctrine about how the infinite number of human rights that each individual has interacts with everyone else's rights. And like back when Trudeau, when the first Trudeau brought in the Human Rights Code, the, the Bill of Rights, the Canadian Bill of Rights, there were lots of people who were upset by it because it, it's a different form of legal reasoning. The Bill of Rights says, here's the rights you have that the government is granting you. That's not how it works under the English Code. The English Code is, you have all the rights there are, but they rub up against other people's rights, so we have to sort that out. We do that with court and precedent. And that's what the Human Rights uh, Commission and Tribunal in Ontario can dispense with if they want. And the reason there, I know the reason that they put that line in there, it's because the the social justice hypothesis is that the legal structures of Western civilization are oppressive, patriarchal, uh, uh, are oppressive and patriarchal, and so it's perfectly reasonable to toss them over if you're in pursuit of something like social justice. It's like, that's fine, people. Sure, go ahead and do that. But if you think that you can transform what we have already now into some kind of utopia, then you're dangerous because that isn't how the world works and the utopians have been more dangerous than any other people for the last hundred years that's for sure like there's all sorts of things wrong with western society always and there always will be but compared to 85 to 90 percent of the rest of the planet this is bloody heaven and that's why people want to move here